Hello, my name is Anshu Kesavani and I work with Riverbed Technical Support. Today we will explore how we can expose fiber channel LUNs to remote branch locations using Virtual Steel Fusion Core. Let's look at the overview first. Starting with version 2.5 and later, virtual core branches can connect to fiber channel LUNs at the data center and export them to the branch edge appliances as iSCSI LUNs. These iSCSI LUNs can be mounted as normal on ESXi running on the edge appliance itself or to the external ESXi server or directly by Microsoft Windows server via software iSCSI initiators. Let's understand how Virtual Steel Fusion Core connects to the fiber channel LUNs. Here in the image, we can see that the Steel Fusion Core is running as a virtual appliance on an ESXi server. It is the ESXi server which has the fiber channel HVA card and talks to the backend storage systems and discovers the fiber channel LUNs. Once these LUNs are discovered onto the ESXi, it then presents them to Virtual Steel Fusion Core as draw disk. Steel Fusion Core then discovers these raw disks as block disk LUNs and then presents these LUNs to the edge appliances as normal. Once these LUNs are presented to the edge location, it can then be accessed by the ESXi server or directly to the Windows server itself. Let's look at the deployment steps first on the ESXi. So the ESXi server first discovers the fiber channel LUNs. It rescans the ESXi storage adapter to discover the fiber channel LUN. It then adds the LUN as raw disk mapping onto the core VM. So what are the steps that needs to be done on the Steel Fusion core? Steel Fusion core first discovers the fiber channel LUN it then adds the LUN to the Steel Fusion core. It then maps the LUN to the Steel Fusion Edge, which is pretty much the same as the iSCSI LUN setup. Last but not the least, configure the initiator access list to allow access to this LUN. So let's look at the demo. There is a caveat for this demo. My lab ESXi does not have fiber channel HPA card. So we will be presenting the iSCSI LUNs discovered on the ESXi and presenting them to our core VM as raw disk, which is the same step that we would be doing for fiber channel LUNs too. Let's log into our appliances. This is my virtual steel fusion core. And this is my edge. I've already connected my edge and the core. Okay, which is fine. Here is the ESXi server and this is the virtual machine that we just saw. On this ESXi server, I already discovered a couple of iSCSI LUNs. Let's map this discovered iSCSI LUN to my virtual steel fusion core appliance as raw disk. Just go to edit settings, add hard disk. Just remember we need to use raw disk mapping. We'll be using this 15 gig. Use the default settings, which is fine. Okay. As you can see, I have added a 15 gig LUN as raw disk to my virtual machine. Then we go to the Steel Fusion Core appliance. So, on this Steel Fusion Core appliance, if you can see, I am not connected via iSCSI portal. I am not connected to the backend storage via iSCSI. So how do we discover the disk which was added as a raw disk to me? I go to the LUNs page, add a LUN. So instead of the iSCSI tab, we go to the block disk tab. Let's do a rescan. Okay. 
we can see that we have discovered the raw disk which was added to this virtual machine as a block disk learn here. We have added the LUN, but this LUN is still not mapped to any of the edge. Let's do that. So we map this LUN to this edge appliance and do update mapping. So we can see that this LUN is mapped, but this LUN is inaccessible. So we would still need to give allow access to this LUN on the edge. We go to the edge, go to that LUN, and in the ACL, we need to allow access to the initiator group or to the individual initiators. For this lab, we are doing it to all. Okay, we can see that status for this LUN is connected. Let's check on the edge. Sure it is. So this is the LUN that we have just mapped to this edge. Once this LUN is available on the edge, it can very well be presented to the local ESXi server or an external ESXi server or directly to a Windows host using software iSCSI initiator. So this concludes this presentation. Thank you for watching.